Okay, so we're going to try and concentrate on the back. You saw uh, just a little uh, earlier in the video where uh, I used one of my tools just to start the back of the uh, of the spoon. Now you want to start, but this you got to be very careful when you do it. You want to start taking away some of the uh, the wood because you want this to come down. You want to curve this out. So you don't want to overdo it when you take it off and you don't want to uh, not take it up because you do want to start getting a curve. And again, remember, wear something to protect your hands. Make sure your knife is also sharpened. This is the hardest part. The part where your wood was cut off with a saw is the hardest part to... It's almost like going... It's almost trying to go through a knot, which is a little harder to do. I should put on my finger protection. So you want to start making somewhat of a curve and then a lot of this is going to be also uh, fixed when you're sanding it. I just want to give the spoon somewhat of a curve. Sorry. It's a lot of work, but it's worth it because you have something really beautiful at the end, something that you've created yourself. Notice how it's coming oval again. I can never seem to do a round spoon. My daughter is the queen of making round spoons.
using my finger kind of. Okay, so before I keep carving it, I'm just going to see what shape I'm going to get out of it. And you do want to use your finger condom when you're using this. Otherwise, you're going to start eating up all the skin around this side of your finger. And that's not something you want to do, trust me. Uh, when I first started uh, doing my spoons, I remember uh, not only did I get a big callus, but I had all these cuts in here, which really made it difficult to do any type of cooking or whatever so you want to kind of make a finger condom and then you want to start polishing the inside as much as you can just so you can start seeing where you're at maybe I should double it yeah not that you want it perfect right now But you want to see where you need to take off more and where you need to take off less. That's the way I do it anyhow. And because this is a coarse paper, 
it's going to be a lot easier to shape parts of my spoon on the back. You're probably wondering why am I doing this part now when I still have to shape the bottom, the handle part, but I do like to visualize as I'm working. And this way, it helps me out and tells me what kind of spoon I'm gonna end up making. It looks a lot thinner here than here, but that's okay because we're going to keep sanding this back because I want it kind of arched down this way. I'm not sure if you can see it. I want to be able to give this, this part of the spoon an arch, and I'll be digging a lot more. So I'm not worried if it's thinner on one side. And remember, like I said earlier, if you find your spoon is starting to look a little crooked, work with it. There are so many beautiful designs out there, and who says that something has to be perfect? A lot easier doing this when you're sitting down but for now to show you you'll see me struggle a little Now, when you get to this part up here, you could either sand your way down. Because pine is a softer wood, it's easier for you to sand this. Or you'd have to take your knife and slowly keep, which I do at times. I'll just keep chipping away until I get the slope that I want on my spoon. You want to give it a nice curve or whatever shape you desire, really. 
You know, you want a square spoon, then you've got a square spoon. See the curve I have there? I want the same curve on this side. Keep shaping it so you can get around their spoon. Notice how it's getting a little rounder. and then sand it and see how it's coming along. And if you don't want your finger to rub, because it does rub when you're sanding, just keep this other condom on and you'll see that it's going to protect your hands. I know it's a little more difficult using the protections on your finger, but you don't want to start taking away chunks of skin or to do. Yeah. There we go. See, it's 
See how it's starting to take more of a rounder shape? And remember, this is not something that has to be done overnight, guys. You can take your time doing this. If it takes you a week, it takes you a week. And this part here with a little bit of sanding it's going to be perfect so i wouldn't worry so much just get the shape that you want and then the sanding will take care of that Someone said something cute in one of the comments. They asked me, where do I find the time to do these? Well, you know, sometimes we need to stop and do something for ourselves rather than uh, just continuously work all day, either cleaning the house or running after the family. Sometimes you got to just stop because this isn't work for me. This is a pastime. This is art. This is... You know, a mind refresher. Like I say, when I do this, my mind really just disappears and makes everything better. And don't worry if it's not completely smooth right now because you will get it smooth later on. For more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to Connie's Rawsome Kitchen. Give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends.